Hello, Comanche Native here, and we are taking a closer look at the Twin Pine Cabins in Fallout 76. Now, yes, I am hiding because they have some enemies here. So I'm going to have to clean the place up before we can actually start to explore. This is where I'm located currently. Right here. Okay. Let's do this. Ooh. Already coming to visit? You didn't have to. Oh, he's, he knows I'm here. Can you hear me? Ooh, sneak attack. I think he probably did. And then again, I don't know. Kind of spooky. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this place. Nice, ominous entrance. They have huge hooks at this makeshift archway with... That's steel. That is steel. Now, I would love to break this down. That would be so nice to just go over there and just like, okay, I found steel. They have a very nice tire fence. Look at that. What? That's pretty cool. And they have like a little makeshift. Um, well, not makeshift. It is a fireplace. The tires are fortified with some iron railings. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I heard somebody. I still want to really take a good look. Whoa! I see you. Oh, they see me. Oh! Ow! Good shot! She's like, thank you! Uh-oh. What's this? Are they? What? Are they attacking me? What did I do? Are you guys attacking me? No! What did I do, guys? Ow. Now, tad unfair. Hang on. Why? I, I mean, they're saying kill them all, but they're just... Ooh, someone died up here. Wasn't me, but I'll take that cap. Oh, come on, guys. No, 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 no. Oh, look at that. Ooh, these guys are... Whoa! Did they just kill themselves? You know, you would think so, but look at them. They are like... Hey! Hey! Stop messing with me! Oh, great. Arrest warrant. Put on me? That's not fair. Oh. Uh huh. Due to overcrowding in the logistics of caring for live prisoners, uh huh, uh huh. Oh, man. There seems to be an issue with the marshal's visual recognition system. Uh huh. No time to fix it now. I must stop those escapees. Okay. That robot has a southern accent. And. We have a failure to communicate because they they put a warrant out on me. Little punks. Why why would you do that? Why would you do that? Look at this. What does that say? That's actually pretty cool. You know what? Let's get a good view of this guy really quick. Hang on. You know, this is the second time this has happened to me. For some reason, it's a mission. They will put a warrant out on you. And then these robots will just kind of show up and try to kill you. 
but I like the detail done look they even have the cap on well that's good I'm glad they they look stylish and they look freshly painted which is really really nice man you know the first time they sent one robot after me now two I hope this is not going to become a thing That looks so cool. Okay. That's nice. I like that. Stylishly done, but uh, I'm not going to take any of the stuff that, that you have on you. <sighs> it's just going to play it again. Two of them. So two of these officers picked this warrant up against me? Um. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, that that's so messed up. I'm just exploring. Come on. Oh, look at this. Let's let's get into um photo mode and let's see if we can get a better look. I must stop those escapees. I mean, honestly. Hats off to their dedication. But still, come on. Look at that blood that is over there. Ooh, we have some more blood over in that direction. Now the cages look a bit small. Like they would probably have to lop off a couple of limbs to put anyone in there. All right, all right. They have a cooking pit right here that that can be used. And it got roasted really quick since they blew up the vehicle here. What's this? Can't collect anything there. You know, someone might have already came through here. Look at this mess! What? Okay, we have a turned over bunk bed. Ooh, look at this. We have some glorious lumps of meat. We do have some meat bags hanging from a tree. So it's good to air that stuff out. And it looks as if someone probably already came by and, and took care of these guys right here. Oh wait, there's a safe behind here. Is this? No, it's not open. Let's go ahead and unlock this. That's so messed up. You know, I tried to do that mission to try to get the warrant off. It, I was by myself. A lot of monsters at the prison. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Alright, there we go. I'll go ahead and take that. Leave everything else. We do have like another cage over here. I don't know. I honestly think this might be a little short. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too picky. All right, let's go ahead and go inside this one building right here. But let's get on the roof. Let's see what happened to this dude. I'll go ahead and take that. Now, I know that the super mutants don't really like one another. We have a wooden crate on top. I mean, that is one heck of a fence right there. 
Let me get in um, photograph mode again to see if we can get a better shot of this place. Now, I did unlock this place when I went to one area. I had to stand up on the tower and it, it gave me this location. Oh, I can't really move too much with the camera. It's kind of like a stopping point. This guy's laying there. He's like, I quit. I give up. They killed me. Look at that tree. That tree is just so weird looking. I mean, with the meat bags, you know, uh, still, it looks kind of scary. They're nice cabins, or they might have been. Not too far out of the way. Alright, now let's go inside. Let's go inside. Okay, so we have another entrance way right here. And I think that might be the only entrance way. Hang on. I thought there was another door on the other side. No. This is it. This is the front of the cabin. Okay, we have a bookshelf. There might have been some stuff there. We have a trunk. I'll go ahead and grab that. A nice looking military trunk. We have a makeshift car bed. I'm gonna say it's a bed. It looks like a bed. You know, I thought that was Arn kind of like rebarb but it looks like it's not it might be some kind of fence so someone made a bed they thought hey you know what this is comfortable let's do it we have another meat bag on the floor hey meat bag refrigerator with a spoon in it do have a weapon on the table, a nice looking table. I like that table. Now, when I come across stuff like this, I always think, oh man, just to fix it up, we have another bed on the floor. Let's see what? There is something. There's a body underneath. There are two bodies underneath the cabin. Hmm, let me um, see if I can get the camera in there since I was able to step inside. Let's see. Let's take a closer look. Can I go down? Nope, nope, there's like a little tiny small wall there. Oh, it looks like a prisoner. There's some handcuffs. Oh, and there's another body. Another prisoner. Handcuffed. Are you handcuffed? He's like, yeah, handcuffed too. Yes, they're handcuffed. I, I don't understand that. Like, why? What, um... What happened here? Oh, I could take the handcuffs. You know what? I'm going to. Only because, I mean, come on. Skeletons handcuff. Let them be free. And I guess you can kind of like salvage these. Ooh, can I grab that one? Barely. There we go. There we go. And I guess that's it. Not quite sure what type of party this was, but wow. Right. Oh, look, it's Bambi. It's kind of, whoops, kind of weird to have that there. All right, and I think that's it. This place does have electricity working. Let's go ahead and, and check this one out. We do have some drawing racks right here. 
I'm gonna say those are nits. Those are nits. Okay. A nice stew pot cooking whatever they can find, whoever they can find. Oh goodness, look at this. Okay, so yes, the the little cages are a bit small. Look at this guy. His head is sticking out from the top. Hang on, let's see if we can get a better view of this. Go into photo mode. Check this out. Oh man. That is not good. Okay, we're gonna have to go up with the camera and then we're gonna have to pan down. Okay, yes, his head is sticking out of the cage. And they look like they just threw like a couple more people inside there. And then we have some humans stuck in the net. They have another pot. I mean, wow. Talk about a do not get closer or we are going to hurt you sign. This is it. I mean, even if they wiggled free, they'd probably have to jump down and just run for the hills. Ouch. Okay, what is this over here? We have some log piles that you can collect. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. Inside the drum. Not quite sure what this is. It looks like a tarp of some sort. Go ahead and go in the back here. More cages. Like, can you have enough cages? And they were like, no. No, we can't. We need exactly more. Like, that's all I want. Give me some cages. Okay, we have some items back here. Suitcase and a toolbox. Now, I already know this, but I'm going to go ahead and take it. And yes, I do need to get some duct tape, so I will take that. Doesn't look like there's anything there. Behind a tree. All right, I guess we're gonna go ahead and go inside. There's some logs here that you can gather. All right, heading inside to the entrance, which is over here. Ooh, more mess. Another meat bag. Sounds like I'm putting someone down. Um, a locker. I need this because I, I need to get some more adhesive going. We have a first aid kit with some dirty water. I'm going to leave that in there. Another bed. Another makeshift bed. I mean, how hardcore can you be? You know? Give me the axis of a vehicle. I'll make a bed out of it. Okay. All right. No problem. There's the chassis. Go for it. Make a bed. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'll leave that. A couple of chairs. At least they stack the chairs nice and neat. That's always good. Have a green rug. Some more blood. We have a workshop here. A weapon workshop is located inside this facility. We have a... What is this? Mini nuke. Tucked away in the corner of another makeshift bed. Refrigerator in the middle. Of course, it does not work. And we have what looks like to be a duck pitcher. Aww. They have a heart of gold, yet they just maim to kill type of feeling going on here. It looks like that's it. They do have electricity. Alright. What we're going to do is make a perimeter run. We're going to check the perimeter to see if there's anything that might be around 
this facility. I like how this is done. It it makes me kind of wonder like exactly what happened to those three individuals who were tucked away underneath the flooring like that. Nope, I do not see anything. I'm still kind of looking. Now, can you sh set a camp up here? Most likely, you probably could. I think anywhere you could probably set up camp. Now, sometimes some of the facilities do not let you get that close. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a look out to this road right here. I guess this would probably be the entrance way. There seems to be... a cooker down here that you can't gather or use. Shopping cart. Making sure their traffic cone is nice and safe. A uh, campfire. And a vehicle right here. Griffin Steel, building tomorrow. That looks kind of cool. I like how that looks. Let's see if we can get a better look of this vehicle right here. So there's an anvil on fire. That's their little logo. The vehicle that they have here, I guess, would be um, a, a van, a minivan, a full-size van, something like that. Now, I try to have a tendency to look at everything because, you know, I, they put it in here. Might as well check it out. Doesn't look like there's anything inside. Let's see if I can go inside here. No, an invisible wall kind of stops me. Right, I think that's it. That looks cool. I like that. Empty. You can't really interact with the door. Okay, so it's kind of like a road that attaches here, maybe. It doesn't look like there was a turnoff here, but, you know, it's hard to tell with everything that went on. There is kind of like a walkway this way. Then it kind of fades away. Okay, so I'm assuming this would be the entrance right here I mean I'm I'm having the enemy music playing which kind of tells me there's something around here that I'm not quite spotting but these guys have been busy look they put everything like there's stuff in the trees this might have been I don't know the mutants cooking spot Look at this. They they have light right here. Right there. Okay, still doing a perimeter check. Just making sure if there's anything else. Okay, it looks like this is it. I didn't see anything else around here. Trust me, I am looking. I do apologize for moving the the camera around so quickly. It does look kind of interesting at night. I like the fact that they do have light. The place is kind of well lit for a facility that is maimed to just kill people. You know, meant to just maim and kill people. So, yeah, that. I mean, talk about, hey, welcome home. You live here. 
Yeah, I live right here. You want to come in, have some dinner? I'd be like, you know what? I'll pass. Um, I'll, I'll be by maybe tomorrow or something. Some more meat bags. Okay. All right, meat bags. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> That's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Gimaginative, and I'll see you next time.